The Old Testament uses primarily three Hebrew words to refer to a branch or rod. The King James Bible has again mistranslated these three different words so that they all in English simply mean branch or rod. This is clearly wrong. The first Hebrew word is Shabet, and it refers to a soft branch or rod, usually a fresh branch that still has moisture within it. It is used to describe a shepherd's rod used for guidance and care. The second Hebrew word is Mateh, and it refers to a hard branch or rod lacking moisture. The third word is Mequel, and it refers to a hard branch or rod that has been transformed into a weapon. Shabit or soft branch represents a caring person. As a tree represents a family and a branch represents a person, this is a branch still with moisture within it, which represents a soulful, caring person. From Isaiah 11:4, But with righteousness he will judge the poor, and decide with fairness for the afflicted of the earth, and he will strike the earth with the rod, or shabit, of his mouth or mind. From Micah 7.14, Feed thy people with thy rod, or shabet, the flock of thine heritage. Mate, or hard branch, represents an angry person, a branch that is lacking moisture. From Ezekiel 7.11, Violence is risen up unto a rod, mate, of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor are they multitude. From Exodus 7.17, I am the Lord, behold, I will smite with the rod, mate, that is in my hand, or power, upon the waters, or souls, which are in the river, or destiny, and they shall be turned to blood, or morals. Mequel, a weapon, represents a wrathful person. From Numbers 22:27, And when the ass, or slave, saw the angel of the Lord, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass with a staff, or Mequel. A spear represents a persecutor. It is a hard branch with a head of iron, or authority of dissimulation. The name Cain, or Cain in Hebrew, means spear. From Psalms 35, 3, Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. From Psalms 57, 4, My soul is among lions, or kings, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, which means desire. Even the sons of the men, whose teeth or values are spears, which means persecutors, and arrows, which means tail-bearers, and their tongue a sharp sword, which means their speech is of offensive words. A firebrand represents a militant, a piece of burning wood. A person with militancy in speech and or in action, typically inciting evil change and taking radical action. The false prophet is a firebrand that causes a wildfire to consume most of the world. Electricity represents charge. Charge is to impose a duty. It is a physical property of matter that causes force when near other matter. All life has charge within it. From Psalms 91.11 for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Electricity represents charge. Lightning represents judgment. Thunder represents justice. Light represents righteousness. Lightning is produced by friction within clouds, but also occurring within dust storms, ash clouds during volcanic eruptions, and by violent forest fires, which generate sufficient dust to create a static charge. Lightning represents judgment. Luke 10.18 I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Psalms 97.4 His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. Zechariah 9.14 And the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow, or tail-bearer, shall go forth as the lightning. Matthew 24.27 For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Thunder represents justice. First Samuel 12.17 I will call unto the Lord, and he shall send his thunder and rain, which means messengers, that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great. Job 26.14 Though these are parts of his ways, but how little a portion is heard of him. But the thunder of his power who can understand? 
A rod of iron represents the Antichrist, iron will. Some people have referred to him as being a lightning rod. From Revelation 2.27 And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, or a person of dissimulation, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received in my father. A line represents tendency. A rope, cord, or string is a length of fibers or characteristics that when twisted together create greater tendencies and influencing power. Common materials for rope include cotton, straw, flax, leather, and animal hair. A person with strong characteristics is unlikely to change and or whose characteristics can exert itself on others. A tight line represents a restrained tendency. A loose line represents a liberated tendency. There are three main forms of strength of tendency symbolically represented in the Bible. Rope, cord, and string. Rope represents compulsion, a prevailing tendency of characteristics. Cord represents a disposition, a predominant tendency of characteristics. String represents an inclination, bending tendency of characteristics. String represents inclination. Psalms 11 2. For though the wicked bend their bow, bow meaning commander, they make ready their arrow, or young tailbearer, upon the string or inclination, that they may privily or secretly shoot at the upright in heart, which means will. Mark 7.35 And straightway his ears were opened, and the string, or inclination, of his tongue, which means speech, was loosened, and he spake plain. Cord represents disposition. Proverbs 5.22 His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords or dispositions of his sins. Psalms 129.4 The Lord is righteous. He has cut asunder the cords or dispositions of the wicked. Job 36.8 And if they be bound in fetters, and be holden in cords or dispositions of affliction. Rope represents compulsion. Judges 16.11 If they bind me fast with new ropes, or compulsions, that never were occupied, then shall I be weak, and be as another man. 1 Kings 20.31 We have heard that the kings of the house of Israel are merciful kings. Let us, I pray thee, put sackcloth, or mourning, on our loins, which means labors, and ropes, or compulsions, upon our heads, or authorities, and go out to the king of Israel. A bow represents a commander. An arrow represents a young tailbearer. A bow is simply a bent branch from a tree, and an arrow is a smaller branch. Arrows have heads of iron, or of dissimulation. Sinew, or devotion, is used as a thread for attaching feathers or truths to the tail, which means subversion, of the arrows. The elastic properties of particular sinews were also used as bow strings. Psalms 127.4 As arrows are in the hand or power of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. Proverbs 26.18 As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death. Zechariah 10.4 Out of him came forth the corner, out of him the nail, out of him the battle bow, or battle commander, out of him every oppressor together. Deuteronomy 32.23 I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. Jeremiah 9.8 Their tongue or speech is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. Psalms 7.13 He has also prepared for them the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and has conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood.